Hey gang, uh, doing the video of the day. Um, you know, I got some really uh, interesting news today, and I'm not going to share the news, but you know, people are, 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 they're just so weird and difficult. I just, I, I, I don't quite know how to put it. Sometimes, do you ever wonder sometimes if your friends are really your friends? Do you ever wonder? I mean, people say they're your friends, but are they truly your friends? I mean, will they be there for you if you need them? Will they comfort you if you need comfort? Will they support your decision, even if they think you're wrong? Got me thinking. Got me thinking a lot about friends. How many of us have any really true friends that would, that would, if they weren't in the middle of something very, very important, okay, would drop everything at a moment's notice to come and help you. If you needed something, would 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 just give it to you without thinking and give it to you and say, here, not expecting payback, not expecting you to do something special for them, but just because you needed it and they could provide it for you. Does anybody have any friends like that? Do you have any friends like that? If you do, let me know in the comments column down below. If you have friends like that. I have a friend like that. Wow. Anyway, that was the depressing part of the video. No, but actually, that was the honest part of the video. Because I want you all to think about that. I want you to think about that. If one of your friends, for example, if you're one of my friends on Facebook, and you watch this through the link on Facebook, and one of your friends on, on your friends list you have on your Facebook said to you, I need, I'm looking like Mr. Howard now, pointing with my thumb, said to you, I need you to do this. And you weren't doing anything that was important. Would you drop whatever it was you were doing? Maybe your coffee, you know, put your coffee down and, and go to help them? If a friend called you and they were 20 miles from you and said, I have a flat tire, I don't have a spare, and I can't call for a tow truck because I can't afford it. Can you come help me? Would you go help him? Think about that for a minute. Friendship. What's it really mean? What's it really mean to you? To me, friendship is vitally important. Because friendship, friendship means that you're always there for that person. See, because I think love goes a little deeper than that. When you love somebody, I mean, you would literally do anything for that person. But friendship is where you, you'll, do, you'll do just about anything for that person. Because they're important. Think about that, folks. All the friends on your friends list, are, you, are they your friends? Or are they just people you know? Or people you know their name? Because maybe you went to school with them. 
or you were friends with them at one time and you've lost touch. Just something to think about. Anyway, let's get on with the joke of the day. Uh, I, I decided to go a little religious today. I hope you don't mind. The top ten things you never hear in church. Okay, once again, we're going to top ten list. Top ten things you never hear in church. Number ten. Hey, it's my turn to sit in the front pew. Never hear that in church. I'm sure the pastor would like it, though. Number nine. I was so enthralled, I never noticed your sermon went 25 minutes over time. First of all, let's talk about number nine for a minute. What's overtime? If the pastor's preaching, there's no overtime. The pastor preaches until he's done preaching. If God leads him to stop, then he stops. If God leads him to continue preaching, then he better continue preaching. Hey. Number eight. Personally, I find witnessing much more enjoyable than golf. <laughs> Something you'll never hear in church. Top ten things you'll never hear in church. Number seven. I've decided to give our church the five hundred dollars a month I used to send to TV evangelist. <laughs> Let's not even go to the TV evangelist thing. Top ten things you never hear in church. Number six. I volunteered to be the permanent teacher for the junior high Sunday school class. I did that. I volunteered to be the permanent teacher for the junior high Sunday school class. I have since regretted it. Won't get into that either. Top 10 things you never hear in church. Number 5. Forget the denominational minimum salary. Let's pay our pastor so he can live like we do. Some of you can say ouch. <laughs> Number 4. I love it when we sing hymns I've never heard before. <laughs> yeah. How many of you go to a church where they actually sing hymns? Uh, not too many anymore. Number three. Since we're all here, let's start the service early. <laughs> Never hear that in church. Number two. Pastor, we'd like to send you to this Bible seminar in the Bahamas. Never hear that in church. If you're a pastor watching this, you'll know what I'm talking about. And the top things you never hear in church, the number one thing, nothing inspires me, it strengthens my commitment, like our annual stewardship campaign. <laughs> that is your top ten things you never hear in church, and that's going to go for your joke of the day. Anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap this up. It's, uh, it's been a few minutes, but again, folks, think about friendship. Think about what it means to you and think about how many friends do you truly have? Oh, I've got a lot of people that I talk to on my Facebook. And I've got, I've got quite a good list on Yahoo as well. But think about how many of those friends. Let's say, let's say my son was sick. Let's say my son was sick. And he had to go to the hospital. How many, how many of you would respond? If I said I needed help. Maybe I don't even come out and say I need help. That's what friends do, I guess. Something to think about. Until tomorrow. I gotta work tomorrow, so it's gonna be a long day time before you get the video. I gotta work tomorrow. And then I gotta go pick some stuff up after work. And then whatever. So until tomorrow, 